let us continue we are in week 6 and today we shall be looking at sutra 30 as every day we shall chant the sutras from 28 to 32 two times after that we will look at the meaning of sutra 30 let us begin tad japas tadartha bhavanam तत प्रत्यक्चेतनाधिगमोप्यंतराया भावश्च व्याधिस्तान संशय प्रमादालस्य विरति भ्रांति दर्शनालब्धभूमि कवस्थित चित्त विक्षेपास्तेराया दुख दौर्मन सी जयत्वश्वास प्रश्वास विक्षेप सह भुव प्रतिषेधाभ्यासगेतनाधिगम अंतराया अभाव च व्यान संशय प्रमाद आलस्य अविरति भ्रांति दर्शन अलब्ध भूमि श्वास प्रश्वास विक्षेप सहभुव तत्षेधाथम एक now let us move ahead and look at the meaning of sutra 30 this and the next sutra are crucial for us the sutra says vyadhi styana samshaya pramada alasya avirati bhranti darshana अलब्ध भूमिकत्व अनवस्थित चित्त विक्षेप ते सो व्याधि मींस डिसीज स्थान मींस एलनेस एनर्शिया दिस इंक्लिनेशन टू डू एनी एक्टिविटी संशय दिस इज नॉट स्थान दिस इज संशय संशय अ डाउटिंग माइंड प्रमाद एरोनियस बिहेवियर रॉन्ग अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड रॉन्ग बिहेवियर आलस्य लेजीनेस अविरति क्रेविंग फॉर एंजॉयमेंट्स ऑल दो वी नो इट इज नॉट गुड फॉर अस भ्रांति दर्शन अ कंफ्यूज परसेप्शन अलब्ध भूमिकत्व एंड इनेबिलिटी टू रीच एंड मेंटेन एंड रिमेन इन अटल और अ फाइनर स्टेट अनवस्थितत्व स्थितत्वानी इज अ प्लूरल फॉर्म डिस्ट्रैक्शन नॉट बींग एबल टू कीप द माइंड इन वन स्पेस वन प्लेस दैट इज अन अवस्थितत्व चित्त विक्षेप डिस्टर्बेंस इन द चित्ता दे इज अंतराया मल्टीपल ऑब्स्टेकल्स सो व्हाट डज दिस मीन डिसीज इनर्शिया अ डाउटिंग माइंड प्रोक्रेस्ट्रिनेशन प्रोक्रेस्टिनेशन एंड एरोनियस बिहेवियर व्हिच इज दिस इंक्लिनेशन टू डू द करेक्ट थिंग in spite of the knowledge of its inappropriateness laziness 
craving for sensorial enjoyments a confused perception inability to reach and maintain a subtle state of the mind a distracted mind these are the obstacles which cause disturbances in the chitta so in the beginning maharshi patanjali told us yogaha chitta vritti nirodha and when that happens tada drashtu swarupe avasthana but when that does not happen then what happens vritti sarupyam itaratra during other times vritti sarupyam it becomes as if it has merged as if it has merged it has not merged but it is appearing as if it has merged with the vrittis the external environment and this becomes a problem when we want to take the mind inwards when we want to do tad japas tadarth bhavanam then what are the difficulties which come up maharshi patanjali has listed all the difficulties which can come up different categories different aspects very fine shades of difference between each of them these are the obstacles and once we know the obstacles then we can move ahead if we wish to annihilate destroy our enemy then it is essential that we know everything about the enemy only when we know everything about the enemy all the aspects then we know which is the way that we can attack which is the way where is that weak point that chink in the armor where we can attack and destroy the enemy at this point these are the enemies how do we take care of them what are the weapons that we use that is what we need to know but before we know the weapons we need to know more about these and today i would like you to think about them each and every one spend time looking at each and every one disease in the body in the mind in the emotions inertia inappropriate behavior procrastination and so on how do they affect what do they do when in my life do i experience these how do they manifest and how do they camouflage themselves and appear they don't always appear in the manifest form okay here comes disease here comes procrastination here comes inertia or here comes an confused perception no they don't tell us they don't blow a conch or a trumpet and then arrive many times they come into a different form where we can't even recognize them so today the assignment which i would like to give to all of you is spend some time and keep observing during the day when and how these things are happening and when you observe that then changes what need to be done we can understand more and better so with this let us complete today's session please sit in any comfortable meditative posture hands on your knees in gnana or chin mudra the body is straight eyes gently closed bring your awareness back to the eyebrow center visualize the same image or experience you had chosen at the beginning of the session
allow your awareness to gravitate towards this experience. And maintaining awareness of this experience, let us chant the mantra Om three times, followed by the Shanti part. Taking in a deep breath. Om. Om. Oh. Asato ma sadgamaya tamaso ma jyotir gamaya mrityor ma pratam gamaya Sarvesham Swasti Bhavatu, Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu, Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu, Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu, Om Pyamba Kamya Jamahe, Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam, Urva Rukamiva Bandana Nutyor Muchiyamam Rutat Om Shanti 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 and Sintrana Mudra Twameva Mata Chapita Twameva Twameva Bandush Chasaka Twameva Twameva Vidya Dravinam Twameva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Hari Ho Rub your palms gently against each other generating some warmth, place the palms on the closed eyes, experience the warmth radiating from the palms to your eyes, to your brain, to your body, energizing the eyes, the brain, the body. And then gently move the palms away, open your eyes, Hari O Tat Sat Namo Narayan Jai Ho